So in the last lecture, we were trying to discuss Young's double slit experiment. So there, I told you all that in Young's, just we'll do a quick recap. Okay. So in the last lecture, I told you that in Young's double slit experiment, two sources were derived from a single source. So basically, what happened? From this source, my wavefront would be like this and from the two source, it will be like this. So basically, Young's double slit experiment is an example of division of wavefront okay so this wavefront is being divided into two and then on the screen i will obtain the interference pattern these two waves will superimpose and give you an interference pattern and then we discussed that uh, the two waves when the part difference is integrals multiple of lambda lambda we get constructive interference and when the two waves they have part difference of order multiples of lambda by 2 then we will have destructive interference now we'll move further so i started discussing interference due to thin films now for example if i have a thin film of thickness t and refractive index mu okay then i shine light on this what will happen this light will get reflected and refracted from the lower surface of the film it will again be reflected and transmitted okay and then from the upper surface this ray would be reflected so you can see that this was my incident ray and then these are two reflected rays r1 and r2 from upper and come second one is from the coming from the lower surface now these two rays r1 and r2 will interfere always we need two waves okay to interfere to give you the interference pattern they will r1 and r2 interfere constructively or destructively okay constructively and or destructively now what is the basic difference in these two experiments here in young double slit experiment you saw that you saw that two sources were derived from a single source due to division of wavefront whereas in thin film again two sources are derived from the one source it means they both are coherent sources again i got coherent sources okay it means that they have constant part difference or phase difference and both the waves they have the same frequency okay same wavelength because there is only one source and but the difference between these two experiment is that in thin film this single wave it is partly reflected and then again reflected and then again reflected so basically the amplitude of the wave is changing the two waves they have different amplitudes so basically one wave is coming with certain amplitude and then it is being divided into two so we can call this as so interference of Young's double slit experiment is was an example of division of wavefront and interference due to thin films can be termed as an example of division of amplitudes
okay so this is the basic difference in these two experiments now what would be our next goal in order to study the result and intensity in any experiment the first thing which i would like to calculate is the effective path difference between the two waves and then we know that if the path difference is integral multiples of lambda we know it will be maxima and if the path difference is odd multiples of lambda by 2 it will be minima so now okay so now let us try to calculate that once again i'll draw the diagram okay this is my film with thickness t and diffractive index mu and then i have an incident wave which is being reflected reflected transmitted okay reflected and then like this so now let me call this as for example this is x y this is x prime y prime and let me call this as a b c d e f okay now here you all know angle of incidence this is equal then we have this is my angle of okay this is angle of refle refraction here angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection okay so now let us try to find the path difference between so which two waves will interfere bc and ef so the reflected rays bc and ef will form the interference pattern okay so now let us try to find the path difference between bc and ef in order to find the path difference what i should do from e i will drop a perpendicular on bc okay as i did in young double slit experiment so what we will do drop a perpendicular from e on bc now the path difference between bc and ef would be so you can see from b the ray is being reflected to c but the second ray it is going inside the film again reflected and then again gone out okay so now here so in order to find the path difference let me mark this as point p okay where i have dropped the perpendicular from e on bc i need to find the extra path so this from the point b the ray has traveled bd de and from b the first ray has traveled bp okay but there is a difference bp traveled in air whereas the ray bd and de it traveled inside the film of refractive index mu so my net optical path will be the path difference let me denote by lambda delta sorry will be bd plus de times 
mu minus b p this will be my path difference okay now we have to just take the triangles and substitute the values and find in terms of angle of refraction and the thickness of the film now what do i do in triangle b let me denote this point also as q b d q and in triangle q d e we can see that b d is equal to d e okay and this is equal to if i want to write in terms of thickness and angle of refraction it will be t upon cos r okay you can check from the right angle triangle so i will get delta as 2 mu t upon cos r minus bp okay i have just substituted this value in here first equation let me mark this as equation number 1 Two, so from two, I have substitute the value in one. This is my equation number three. Okay, now in triangle B P E. Okay, let me go back. B P E. Okay, so this is. i this is 90 minus theta 90 minus i this is 90 so this is again i okay so what i will get sin i sin i is equal to bp upon be okay and bp is equal to be sin i be i can write as you can just go back and see in the figure be i can write as bq plus qe and bq is how much we can write in terms of t ten r okay in bq we, from the, again from this triangle it will be ten t ten r and bq plus qe will be two t ten r so i can write this as bq plus qe this is just very simple mathematics okay from the right angle triangle you can just write 2t 10r sin i this is equal to okay i have drawn r like this so i should do the like that 2t sin r upon cos r sin i from snell's law we know that mu is equal to sin i upon sin r okay so sin i i can replace by mu sin r so i can write it as sin r mu sin r upon cos r this is equal to 2 mu t sin square r upon cos r okay so this is your bp now substituting back the value of bp here in the path difference bd plus de mu or we can substitute in equation 3 Two mu t upon cos r minus bp. We have found or found out the value of bp. Let me put this as equation four. Putting four in equation number three. Okay. Putting the value of bp from equation four. Into three, we get delta is equal to two mu t upon cos r minus two mu t 
साइन स्क्वेयर आर अपॉन कॉस आर ओके सो वॉट विल आई गेट टू म्यू टी वन माइनस साइन स्क्वेयर आर अपॉन कॉस आर वन माइनस साइन स्क्वेयर आर इज कॉस स्क्वेयर आर वन कॉस आर विल कैंसिल आई विल गेट टू म्यू टी कॉस आर दिस इज माई पाथ डिफरेंस ओके नाउ वन मोर थिंग वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट द रे बी सी अगेन आई गो बैक टू माई फिगर द रे बी सी इट गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड एट द डेंसर मीडियम ओके एंड वेन सो इट वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम रेयर एंड गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम डेंसर ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टडीड इन रे ऑप्टिक्स दैट फ्रॉम स्टोक्स थियोरम If a ray moves from rare to denser and gets reflected from a denser medium, then it suffers a path difference of lambda by two or a phase difference of pi. Okay, so we'll apply that. Okay, from Stokes' theorem. we know that when a ray moves from rarer to denser medium and gets reflected from denser medium then it suffers a phase difference of of pi or path difference of lambda by 2 okay so in our case the ray bc it gets reflected at denser media so bc gets reflected at denser medium okay moving from the rare medium so it will get an additional phase change moving from rarer medium so it will get an additional so it will get an additional phase change of pi ओके और पाथ चेंज ऑफ लेमडा बाई टू और पाथ चेंज ऑफ लेमडा बाई टू सो माई नेट पाथ डिफरेंस विल बी सो बेसिकली अर्लियर द पाथ डिफरेंस वॉज बी सी माइनस बी सी प्लस बी डी प्लस डी ई माइनस बी सी okay so bc is coming with a negative sign so my net path difference will be 2 mu t cos r which we already derived minus lambda by 2 okay this is my net path difference in the case of thin film of thickness t and refractive index mu now i know the path difference i can easily calculate my conditions for maxima and minima okay that we'll try to do in the next video